morning. It's Wednesday morning, and it's September the 1st, 2021. It's a blessing to be able to share some thoughts with you from God's Word today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm going to read this morning Proverbs chapter 15, verse 12. And if you have your Bible on hand, turn there with me to Proverbs chapter 15, verse 12 this morning. This verse says, A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. And this is simply about a person who doesn't like to be told they're wrong. A scorner, a person who is a, who's scornful, doesn't love the one that reproves him, neither will he go unto the wise. And some people just don't like to face the fact that they don't know everything, that they're not right about things. I think we generally bristle a little bit when someone confronts us and tells us that we're wrong. We don't like to hear that. We like to imagine that we've got the right take on things. Not that we're wrong, but that we are right instead. And it's pride that causes us to, to not want to hear that kind of advice. It's pride that causes us to bristle a little bit when someone tries to correct us. But the Bible says this is especially true of a scorner. Somebody who rejects Bible truth will not take correction. They won't receive instruction, even when it comes from the Lord or from the Spirit of God. And verse 12 again says, A scorner loveth not one that reproveth him, neither will he go unto the wise. And this brings up a lot of issues. Is it right sometimes for us to, for those who know truth, for those who know what God's Word says, to reprove a scorner? To say, listen, you're just wrong about this. God's word says that you ought to do such and so. And a scornful person doesn't like it when someone reproves him. Sometimes we need, we just need to speak up and reprove people and correct people who obviously have the wrong take on things. And Ephesians 4, the apostle Paul wrote about speaking the truth in love and it should always be given kind the correction should always be given kind kindly and reproof should always be given kindly so that it's a little bit easier to swallow and it communicates the fact that we really care about the person we're trying to help but don't be surprised if they don't respond in a positive way to being corrected to being reproved and the bible says simply at the end of that verse, that this, the, how much more the hearts of the, excuse me, verse 12, neither will he go unto the wise. He won't, he won't go looking for help. He won't go looking for advice, typically, because he doesn't think that he needs it. He thinks that he's already right about things. And yet, if he has the wrong perspective on divine truth, he probably needs to be corrected, even though he won't go seeking counsel or seeking advice for himself. That, that job may fall to you. You may be one who could share truth with someone who thinks they already know, but they don't know. And if, if the Spirit of God impresses you to speak to them that way, just be prepared for a negative reaction because the Bible says this is common and this is typical for people who are being corrected, who are being reproved. Be the voice that God wants you to be. Speak for the truth when you have opportunity. And it may not always be necessary for us to speak up and, and correct someone who's wrong. But when the Spirit of God compels you to do it, do it. And do it in a kindly and a gentle and a loving way. Who knows? Maybe God will use that situation to turn them around. Maybe God will use your voice to make a huge difference in that person's life. God bless you today.